Hello, everybody. Hi. I call this video the simplest, irrefutable, flat earth proof. And I'm titling my video the simplest, irrefutable, flat earth proof debunked. Now, I know there's going to be some people who will watch this who know me personally. And people who know me personally uh, know that I am not a fool. Well, I'm not a crook. I'm not a witch. I have a degree in math, and I have a Juris Doctorate, and I have been practicing law for almost 30 years. I said, wow, you're intelligent. He said, yeah, I am. I said, that's brilliant. Trust me, I'm like a smart person. And Some of these people who will watch this know that I have won some incredibly diff uh, difficult jury trials. I'm not interested in your law career at all, so if you could just, you know, fast forward to the bit where you prove that the Earth is flat, that'd be really cool. When I first heard about the flat Earth a year ago, or a little more, I totally ignored it, because I thought, come on, that's foolish. Oh, if only you had stuck to your guns. You're right, it is foolish. And that's, that's natural, that's normal. Because we've all been brainwashed by scientism. <laughs> yes, yeah, scientism, yeah. All praise Einstein and Darwin and Dawkins. Peace be upon him. When you understand science, it dispels all notions of a God who rules in the affairs of men and who created the earth. Well, I will tell you, before I met the Lord, the true God of the universe... Over 40 years ago, when I was a math major in college, I turned totally away from faith, and I did believe that math was God. I did. Because math seems to explain everything. As this video goes on, all I can think is that this would be a great cautionary tale to show to atheists. This man, a mathematician who believed that there was no God, hit his head and had some terrible accident and lost all of the intelligence that he possessed, and now believes that the earth is flat and that there is a god. But we have been deceived, and now I want to show you the simplest, irrefutable, flat earth proof. Oh, I cannot wait for this. So, let's look at the first flat earth proof. You see the globe? Now consider an airplane. My son has that same plane. I think you get him from Target. Okay, this airplane is going to fly always at a level altitude with, re with respect to the Earth. And any of you who have studied the, the flat Earth ideas know that there is an equation that describes how much curvature is in the Earth from given distances, and that, and that is defined as 8 inches times the number of miles squared. So that um, if you go through that calculation, you can figure out how far below the horizon something should be from a particular distance. Okay, so the calculation that he mentions here is correct. However, the calculation to work perfectly needs a spherical Earth in order for the calculation to be 100% correct, which the Earth is not. This causes the formula to have a huge error rate at longer distances. I went online to research this, and I found a message board for pilots who all say the same thing. There is no adjustment needed, as the aircraft will naturally follow the curvature of the Earth without any input from the pilot. This is because the aircraft flies through the atmosphere, which also follows the curvature of the Earth. But, you know, what would this guy know about aviation? Mike Swanson, who is only a B777 pilot telling you that the plane naturally follows the curvature of the Earth. Now, if you consider this plane going to the east here, just going to the east, you see that the plane always seems to be level with respect to the Earth, and then, you know, if it keeps itself at a level altitude, then it would just simply land at a country on the other side of the globe, okay? That's easy, to see when you're going east and west, but what about when you're going from north to south? And this is this is the proof, and you can't deny it. Lay it on me, Papa Bear. Show me the proof. 
So you start your journey at the Arctic, as far to the north as you can. And you begin to go south. Now notice as I'm going south, I have to continue dipping the nose of my airplane in order to stay level with the ground. Now I'm going to continue all the way to Antarctica. Now notice I'm continuing to dip my nose down to stay level with the earth. Now I'm going down into South America, continuing to dip down, and finally I get down here to Antarctica. And look at that. My airplane is upside down. What? My airplane is upside down. <laughs> what? My airplane is upside down. <laughs> well, you're going to say, well, we know that people that are in the southern hemisphere are still standing right side up. Everybody stands right side up on the earth. We know that. But yet you just flew down here. You're upside down. You cannot refute that. Your airplane is upside down and your head is facing down. It has to be true because you have had to adjust your nose by a full 180 degrees so that now you are absolutely upside down. You know what? I'm starting to come to his side right now. You know what? He's correct. They are upside down. <laughs> They're upside down. Oh my God. I'm starting to think like him. Oh my God. There are people right now on the antipode of where I'm standing who are upside down in relation to me. That is impossible. How is that possible? Unless, of course, the earth is flat. Wow. I mean, it's not like there could be an invisible force forcing us towards the center of the earth at all points on the face of the earth. You know like gravity does. You can't deny that proof. I don't remember the first time I saw one of these flat earth theory videos. It was ages ago at this point, to be honest. But the fact that they have just some of the easiest to debunk ideas and theories, it infuriates me that they are so stupid they can't see it. In order to debunk the flat earth theory, all they need to do is go to a web browser and then find the live stream of the International Space Station, which shows the space station orbiting Earth at 400 kilometers nearly 15 times a day. You can't deny that proof. Uh, I just did. By the way, I do want to recommend uh, Robbie Davidson's new video on scientism. It's on my list.